Hi, I'm Emily, and today I'm going to show you our latest product offering, Halo. Now, imagine you had a tool within your customer service department that could not only respond to questions, but could actually complete the tasks relating to those questions for you. With Halo, we've made that possible using only natural language. And today, I'm going to show you how. So let's get into it. I'm going to show you how to set up a basic order management agent. And we're going to be building it ourselves. We're starting with a clean environment to demonstrate how easy it is to create these agents ourselves. We've already set up a few tools, and I'll walk you through them so you'll see what they'll look like, so they won't be a mystery to you. And I'll also share some decision-making insights you might encounter when building these agents. First thing we're going to do while we're here in the CM platform within the Halo Studio application, we're going to press the plus button to create our first agent represented on a blank canvas. I won't dive into too much detail right now. We'll just get started and see how things unfold. The first thing I'll do is create an agent and name it Order Management Agent. Nothing too fancy there. We'll give it a high level description of its purpose. So we're going to be telling it, and again, use your own words here, just use natural language that feels natural to you. So we can say, you are the order management agent for cm.com, and you're an expert in handling customer requests concerning order information and cancelling their orders. Since those are the two use cases we're going to be implementing and demonstrating today. I'm going to keep it simple. As we type and describe our systems function, a flow is generated, providing insights into what the agent is thinking at the moment. It makes assumptions since we've only provided a description, and it's making these assumptions because we haven't given it a lot yet, except for the description. We'll instruct the agent that when a customer comes in asking about their order, you can use the following tools to retrieve any relevant information and make any required changes. We're going to be referencing a few tools that we predefined. For instance, if the customer wants to cancel their order, you'll first use the, and now we're going to be referencing the tool that we predefined. So when we actually type slash here in this interface, we're going to get what we call the command window, and we're going to reference an existing tool. In this case, when a customer wants to cancel, the agent will use the get profile tool to get their profile information, which also contains the last order they placed. Once you've retrieved the customer's profile using the last order ID, you can use the cancel order tool using the last order ID from the profile. This is a very explicit flow very explicitly set up for this purpose. But you can make the description as generic or as specific as you want to be. In this case, we are focusing on a very narrow use case. We want to do that well. And we also say, once you've cancelled the customer's order, ask them if you can help them with anything else. And that's pretty much it. That's essentially all we have to do to define the agent's behavior. Once you've canceled the customer's order, ask them if you can help with anything else. By adding more detail to our agent's behavior, 
we can see that the flow is more concise, accurate and less open to interpretation by the agent. So the flow started with a very broad description which gave it many opportunities to fill in the blanks itself. But as we refined it, it's way more specific and in line with the behaviour we're looking for. Now I'll quickly show you what our tool looks like. If we click on one of these tools, we'll see the Get Profile tool. It's nothing more than a name, a description and a set of parameters, which is the email address in this case. When testing the conversation, we request this email address from the user. An API call is made to our own Shopify environment and we also have a helpful feature to test your tool, replicating real life scenarios while you're working on the tool. It executes all the steps in the tool, including the API called Shopify, which you can see here, using the email address parameter. This is the response we get back from Shopify. And if we inspect this result, the HTTP request contains a lot of data, but we also see this customer record being properly retrieved. Now, if we go back to our agent and look at the cancel order flow, we're going to see the exact same thing. It's a tool with a name and description. This is the start node with the order ID that we need as we described in the agent behavior. That's what we actually want to get from the profile information. And then we have a Shopify API call to do that cancellation. So without further ado, we're gonna test what we've built. This testing is based on how we set up the agent. The process is simple. We just need to say, I want to cancel the order. Once we do that, you'll notice progress updates happening in real time. The process is relatively quick, and in the behavior section, you'll see that we're now interacting with the order management agent just as expected. Next, the agent will prompt us for an email address, and we'll provide one for this demo. At this point, the agent starts processing the request. Using the email address provided, it communicates with the management tools to retrieve the user profile. You'll see the profile retrieval is successful, and inspecting the body will reveal the complete profile. Using the order ID obtained from this profile as the last order ID, the agent proceeds to cancel the order. You'll be able to see which order was cancelled and confirm with the response from Shopify that the cancellation was successful. You can handle general scenarios, navigate complex conversations using an intuitive flow and explicit instructions. And that's all there is to it.